Okay, guys, in the last couple of nights, we've done equations using, using excuse me, addition and subtraction. We've had equations using multiplication and division. And today, we're going to combine some steps, and we're going to do equations um, that are multi-step. They, uh, they might have both addition and division. They might have subtraction and multiplication. We just need to remember, remember our rules. So let's take a look at something like this. We'll start very basic. Negative 4x plus 8 equals 16. If I cover up that x, again, you can't see my hand. If I cover up that x, and, and in fact, I want to do this. Um, if I cover up the x that my hand is covering that x right now. What are the two numbers that I have to move to the other side? Recognize that I need to move the negative 4 and the 8. You are correct. So I need to take the negative 4 and the 8 to the other side. Question is, how do I do it? Now that I have multiple steps, I do have a rule that I like to use. And first, I will move that's a great one. I will move the number farthest from the variable first. Okay, I'm going to move the number farthest from the variable first. So if I have to move the negative 4 and the 8, which one is farthest away from the variable? Well, the negative 4 is connected and the 8 is farthest away. So how do I move a positive 8 on my scale? to the other side. The opposite of positive is subtraction. So I'm going to subtract 8 to the other side. Positive 8 minus 8 is going to cancel. That leaves me negative 4x is equal to 16 minus 8. 16 minus 8 is 8. Okay, so now I have negative 4x equals 8. I'm going to notice that negative 4 and x are multiplying each other. The opposite of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 4. Those negative 4's cancel. And 8 divided by negative 4 is negative 2. So there is a multi-step equation. Nothing new, just that we have... Um, this is bothering me. I'm sorry. I'm go over here and fix this one. There we go. Nothing new, we just have multi-steps. Let's go to another example. Let's look at this example. 20 equals m divided by 5 plus 12. Using our rule that we learned on the first example, if I covered up my n, or my m, and I'm going to use a little magic here, so I'm pretending that I'm covering up my m with my hand right now, I need to move the 5 and the 12. So think about that for just a minute. I've got to move the 5 and the 12 to get the m by itself. To do that, I use my rule. Which one is furthest away? The 5 is connected. The 12 is furthest away. So how do I move a positive 12? The opposite of positive is negative. So I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides. 20 minus 12 is 8. 12 minus 12 cancels, so that leaves me 8 equals m divided by 5. And because this is division, the opposite of division is multiplication, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 5. 5 times 8 is 40. And over here, the 5's will cancel. 
we're left with m over 1, which is just m. And so I like to look at that as m equals 40 instead of 40 equals m. Same thing. This is just a personal preference. I put the variable in front. m equals 40. Let's do one more example before we're done with the cast. This one looks just a little bit different, so I wanted to get a good, uh, a good look at this one. The difference in this one is I've got three terms on this side, but what do you notice about the first terms? Okay, what do you notice about these two terms? Um, okay, I went ahead, uh, went ahead and highlighted those two terms. What do you notice about y and negative 7y? They are common terms, so I can combine them before moving on. So I would like to find out what y minus 7y is. Remember, that's a 1y. So what is 1 minus 7? I'll give you a second to think about that. 1 minus 7. If you came up with negative 6, you are correct. And that's a negative 6y. I'm going to go ahead and bring down my positive 60 and set that equal to 30. Now, this looks like the problems that we did before. We just had one more step. We had to combine the like terms. So looking at the negative 6 and the 60, those are the two numbers I need to move. Which one is farthest away? In this case, it's the 60. Because it is a positive 60, I'm going to subtract 60 from both sides. These 60s will cancel. That leaves me negative 6y equals, and 30 minus 60, which one is bigger, 30 or 60? 60 is bigger, and because the sign is negative on the 60, the sign will be negative in our answer. And then we subtract what is 60 minus 30. In this case, it's 30. So negative 6y equals negative 30. I'm going to bring this over here so I have more room. The negative 6 and the y are multiplying each other, so I'm going to divide both sides by negative 6. Negative 30 divided by negative 60. Let's just look at the numbers first. 30 divided by 6 is 5. Count up the negative signs. There are two of them, so that makes my answer positive. So I end up with y equals 5. And that is multi-step or two-step equations. We will see you tomorrow.